Woo, how's it going? Alright, so uh, last one for now is blocking slash timing slash spacing. Um, I don't know if I call this intermediate, and this isn't one that you have to practice, but this is just something that a lot of people overlook. So, um, one thing is, if you are at the correct spacing, you have about half a second to block. Um, doesn't sound like a lot, but the average reaction time is 0.25 seconds. If you got super good reaction time, you're blessed. If not, you'll still be all right. So um, if you give the person you're guarding about one to two person space between you guys, you'll be able to get um, you'll be able to get a block off after they shoot, which means you don't have to commit. So um, it's easier with footage just to see what I'm talking about. So if you notice, Jack shoots. Which means if this was a pump fake, if this was a pump fake, he wouldn't have bit. But because he waits to block, and you'll see there's about two people's space between him, he's able to still get the block off. And that is, I don't know, is that quick point one or two? It's one of the quick points. I haven't played enough to to be all up into the freestyles and stuff, but I don't know if that's one of the good freestyles, but quick point's a good freestyle. I don't know if one or two is better. Regardless, he had enough time to wait to see that his actual shot and then block it. He didn't have to bite a pump fake. He didn't have to do whatever. If you can practice this and lock this down, then you'll be a much better defender because you don't have to fall for pump fake. So um, here goes one. You'll notice layup goes. And then after layup is when he jumps. And it su su successfully connects with the shadow block. Um, this one is not exactly the best timing. Like I said, you can jump earlier and you might get the block, but jumping later means that you're not uh, committing to a pump fake. So at this point, this could still be a pump fake. He could have been on the pump fake, but we'll move on to the next one so you can see. So in this case, let's see. Out of pump fake range, Deacon jumps way after the ball um, leaves his hand. Like I said, this is the spacing that you want to be at. Um, if you want to get really advanced with defense, doing this is one thing you can do. The other thing you can do is sound blocking. I won't get into that here, but like I said, this is just more footage showing of what I was talking about. Like layup after he jumps um, and then he goes to a block. This is actually a manual block. That's another whole advanced set of tips. Like I said, if you use this spacing and jumping after and manual block, which a lot of characters have now, you'll you'll be able to do a lot of lockdown defense. Uh, the more you practice it, the more you'll be able to do it without um, stressing or without you know overthinking it. And when it becomes a habit, it becomes crazy. Uh, there's a couple Asian players who do this or did this back when they still played. Um, this in com conjunction with sound blocking it can become a nightmare and it can become impossible for certain characters to score on you. Like if you can do this well, um, and you're sound blocking, like for example, a Kim who isn't lagging can't score on you. Like cards aren't good enough to, to help. Uh, anyways, that's it for now. Um, if I missed anything or if you noticed any mistakes, let me know. Uh, depending on the feedback on this, I might continue. Uh, either way, like I said, these are just some intermediate tips to help on three on three besides quitting that's a good tip too